Hello and welcome. My name is Nkabengam Zeleni. I'm the Next Einstein Forum Ambassador from Lesotho. This week we'll be beginning and hosting the Africa Science Week. It is the inaugural and the first, and it'll cover 13 different countries across Africa. This is an opportunity to discuss how we can actually use science as a tool for development, but actually start to bring together some collaborations, not just from the grassroots, but also from industry. I think the, the vision of creating an African Science Week <coughs> is, is really something that the, that the continent needs and it's inspiring to me. But of course, it's going to start somewhere. And you're really making that spark. So yes, we want to have 54, but somebody's going to start somewhere. Um, and you're choosing to do so and, and, and making it, taking up that battle. So thank you for doing that. Thank you for having me here. And thank you for inspiring us. Uh, My words uh, broadly, but why, why, what are we talking about when we talk about knowledge economy? I mean, some people have, have said that knowledge economy is one that relies primarily on the use of ideas rather than your know, physical ability. You get tired, you, you, you get sick. But since when ideas are important to, to, to run the economy? If you think of how we used to think of people who talk about ideas but don't do anything, we used to say they're lazy, isn't it? We used to say, ah, oh, that one can just talk forever and forever. But later on, I think we have learned that in talking and learning and having knowledge and transferring that knowledge from generation to generation, it's actually an important aspect of our lives. So a knowledge economy that does not necessarily rely on, on physical attributes of, of, of uh, you know, mining and, 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 and so on, it's an economy that can be sustainable. With the technological advantage, which my colleagues have also referred to, to be able to leapfrog some of that learning. And, and we are really able to then jump ahead in terms of our development trajectory. And that can only mean progress in economic growth. And I think we have the opportunity to engage our youth population and our, our, our women to become drivers of this type of economic growth. But some of the fundamentals that we, we need to get right um, in order to leverage these opportunities are, for instance, technology. As much as it's a huge driver of a knowledge-based economy, lack of access <coughs> to technology, computers, high data costs uh, across the continent pose a significant challenge uh, to us making these, these uh, leaps. To me, today's um, forum just means that a lot has been done um, to, to, to get us where we are, to develop a, a, a human species. To, to, to where we are today um, with invention and being innovative and through networks globally. And somehow I feel that as a continent and as a country, we have been able to be part of that movement. However, there's been a lagging behind in the adoption and use of the knowledge that has been generated. What, what are the trends that we are seeing in Africa? There's this trend now of create, creating the science and technology parks to actually stimulate the demand side of the technology, to try and take the inventions to market. Because previously, even if you look at our promotion system of academics, it's on number of publications and number of students that you have, you have generated. But how does that translate to the economy, to the societal benefit? Besides just having a PhD, like my colleague was saying, that does not apply. So the science and technology parts are now being established to, to enhance the commercialization of those technologies. And also what that does is, it gives a, a room of authenticity of our technologies so that they can marry with other private companies out there. So that's one of the trends that I've seen. If our government is talking about the theoretical econo economic transformation, I think mostly it has to start there in our education so that our scientists, they will have that mentality when we do research, we compete for patents because in other countries, at the end of uh, research, what is important is to have patents and know that the research that we did is going to uh, contribute uh, greatly to uh, 
to, to the economy. Like they provided us with some project management and some business management workshops. And for someone like me, that was very interesting. I really needed that because it opened up my world. It wasn't just what's happening in the lab to a DNA level. Um, you mentioned that there are studies, research on drought, and when we had the drought, there was no intervention from the researchers. So we shouldn't be limiting our students, we shouldn't be limiting ourselves. We should integrate some business aspect to it as well. We need the particular habits of the mind. You know, that we need to actually build in right from the student level. Mm -hmm. You know, this innovation mindset, you know, this problem solving mindset. Anyone who has done uh, bacteriology like Henna would know how easy it is to actually make BCG. It's very easy. But we were out of stock in South Africa. I mean, we can make it. But the problem is that um, we hear about black owned pharmaceutical companies and things like that, but we don't get to meet those people. Even if you, you want to break into that, you don't know who to go to, you know, how to do it. It's, it's very difficult. Yeah. This is building partnerships. I said it in the beginning, I think this Africa Science Week, um, week symbolizes that in a powerful way. But to, to drive this change that Dr. Togo has just talked, uh, talked about and build these partnerships is going to take leadership. Um, it's going to take uh, people like us, people like you, to take that ownership and, and show us that. So thank you for the leadership and doing it whether you're pregnant or not. <laughs> and um, and commend you for that. I want to suggest, ask that you continue leading. We will continue following. So thank you very much. And thank you to the panel and to you who have participated. I also get a lot of the, the panelists talking about the slow rate at which we implement and take issues forward. And that's where perhaps we should come in as an idea. How do we listen here and then change our policies, our instruments, so that we adopt, we adapt to the changes that are happening? So we've just finished the first leg of Africa Science Week here in South Africa. Uh, the first day being the 26th of June 2017, we had a knowledge-based economy discussion here at the Department of Science and Technology. It went very well, the crowd was very interested, had lots of questions, and I think our minds are all buzzing from the science and technology discussions that we had today. Looking forward to the rest of the week in Johannesburg and Limpopo.